farmers markets. They're a great way to move product and meet a whole bunch of new people. I thought it'd be interesting to take you guys with me for a day and come to my personal own farm stand and show you a little bit about how it works and how I'm able to make money just simply sitting at a corner selling my product. You think it'll stay? Uh, probably. All right, we'll just try it. What's the worst that could happen? So crew, I'm in the car, got my signs ready, and my brother Christian is now the cameraman. And yeah, we're gonna go set up a farm stand right on the corner and see how we do. So here is our beautiful farm stand spot. This is where the people will pull in and pick up their own mushrooms. Yeah, let's set it up. So here's some really nice signage I made. Basically just showing you what the heck I grow, my company logo, and a little bit of an arrow and a notifier that I grow on this farm here. Here's my farm corner. Road there. I got a card coming here. I have my other sign over there. Identical to that one over there. And then my aesthetics and then my mushrooms. Oh my! Come on now! Good stuff! Or that. Nice cutting board here. Going on the table. These are the aesthetics that are gonna make things look perfect. Another essential to starting your own farm stand. You're gonna want something to put your product in to showcase. If you have fresh produce, it's nice to have some image cards to give some people ideas of what they could use your product in or how they can cook it. Card reader, also helpful. Some people don't have catch on them and they want to get some mushrooms. I think the camera draws some attention. They're like, what's going on? Dude, always the Time to get some mushrooms on the table. And here is my farm stand. Here's everything set up. So they have two nice boxes here of mushrooms. Uh, had some people already buy them. I got some mushrooms here and then this nice cutting board with another big mushroom. So anything to catch attention, uh, this seems to do it just fine. Look at these beautiful thick caps. I'm already another person. Hey guys. Hi, how you doing? Good, good, how are you? Good. Blue oyster mushrooms going out. Really quick. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I do, a 10 a box. All right. How much? 10. Right here. Thank, Thank you very much. Yep. Okay. Enjoy guys. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. I'll take, a, I guess, a box somewhere to the edge. Yeah, whatever you'd like. You what's, got it. What's the difference? What are these? Um, this is a blue oyster mushroom. Okay. So it has these, these are a little longer stems than usual, but a little longer stems, really meaty. Mm. Dice them all up in a pan, butter, olive oil, garlic, whatever seasonings you like. Okay. And then, and that goes for really any mushroom, but it's the simplest thing to do with yeah. these guys. And they're just really meaty, meaty bits. Really good. We also have some king pearl oyster, really thick, dense, meaty stems on these guys. Really nice hearty caps as well. I'm not a big yeah. fan of the, those. Let's, let's hold you, on to the little you bit. Got it. more of the lo smaller ones. You got it. Yeah, maybe pick out some of the smaller ones for me there. And then what are these white guys? Those are a comb's tooth mushroom. I'll take uh, some it, of those as well. Okay, you got it. Excellent. You want two boxes of each? One? Yeah, yeah I mean... I do a ten a box, whatever. Whatever yeah, it is. One want. box is fine. Okay, you got it. I'll mix it. Four bucks. It's not gonna be enough once I cook them. Okay, down. you got it. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Good luck. Yeah, Thanks, thanks for stopping by. You're good. Thank you. Yeah, just dice off the base. Everything else you can yep. saute down. Good to go. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And good, good. Awesome. Yep. Twenty. We, we just had a. Uh, Thank you very much. We, yep, we bought. See, so yeah, I kid you not. Like, literally. Five minutes into setting the stand up, we have like five people come by. So cool, crazy. As long as you provide a good service, good quality product, there's no reason you won't be successful. So, yeah. Look at them beautiful mushrooms. Who wouldn't want to eat them? Thick, beautiful stems, caps. Yeah, it's truly, if you love your product and you think it's so good and beautiful in comparison to other product out there, I think there's no reason others won't find the same feeling and appeal to your product that you do. So yeah, let that be your confidence as you sell and talk about your product.
whatever it may be. All right, so me and my brother have been waiting here. It's been about 45 minutes. We've had five, six cars come by, and I'm gonna count the earnings. It's just keep in mind, it's only been 30, 45 minutes, and we've been doing pretty good. It's 10, 20, that's 30, 50, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. So already 90 bucks in 45 minutes selling mushrooms. Keep in mind, this is an all profit. We're gonna have some costs obviously growing these mushrooms, but so far so good, can't complain at all. Also, another thing to keep in mind is the day of the week that you come to a farmer's market in general, uh, let alone your own farm stand. There might be some community building, so just letting people know that you are here and that you're selling something is important. Over time, more and more people will obviously drive by and say, oh, what is that, and check it out. And then obviously, the day of the week and the time of day you come out is important. That's something that may be unique to each little farm corner that if you are going to start, you're going to have to figure out for yourself. For me, Fridays and Saturdays work perfectly. That's what I stick to and I do fairly well. All these things are just things to keep in mind. Don't get discouraged. Before I get back to selling, I want to mention my website, mountainviewmushrooms.com. Here you can find services and information for mushroom farms and hobbyists. I also offer video slash mobile consultations to help you improve your mushroom growing experience. Additionally, I'm working on a useful software tool, uh, but it won't be available until mid to late 2024. I started this business with little knowledge and resources, but I believe what I have to offer can be really helpful. So if you're interested, please go check it out. And now let's get back to the video. Well, okay. Yeah, hey, you're good. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. Yep. Of course, take yeah, care. Maybe. We're gonna count how much we made today and see if it was one of our better days or one of our slower days. All right, so we already, this is what we made today. 20, 20, 20, 20, that's 80, uh, 90, nine, that's 100, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So we made a hundred and ten dollars today. Not too bad, but definitely one of the slower days that I've had. Keep that in mind if you're going to start your own farm stand. Don't get discouraged. I've had days where I've made three hundred dollars or close to four hundred on holiday weekends. Um, so, yeah, keep that in mind. As I pack up here, I want to thank you all for sticking around to the end. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. That just lets me know that I should keep making videos. Uh, best of luck to all of you growing mushrooms out there. If you need help, I'm going to refer you to my website. I'm offering video and mobile consultations. Uh, and that's a wrap. Have a great day, guys, and thank you for watching.